What's up? I haven't said that in a while. Anyway, welcome back to Total OS Today. Total OS Today is total technology for newbies. And speaking of newbies, I frequently frequently get some terrific uh, comments and suggestions on Linux-based operating systems for Windows dummies and Linux newbies. Or is that Windows newbies and Linux dummies? Anyway, we are going to take a look uh, by request a while back. Someone suggested I try this. Thank you. I forget your name, who that someone is. We are going to take a look, for me at least, the very first time at something called Luninix OS. Okay, well, this is the default wallpaper desktop for Luninix OS. Now, this is uh, based off Ubuntu featuring the desktop environment, the standard GNOME 3 or GNOME shell desktop environment. Uh, the, the best answer, the best answer to, to the question, is this really for newbies? The, the best answer that I can give you is maybe. Now we'll take a quick look at this. This is the default wallpaper here. It's somewhat bland. I do like this dock here at the bottom, uh, somewhat reminiscent of Mac OS. It gives all the frequent shortcuts here such as Skype, sound recorder, looks like we have the Opera internet browser, contacts, media player, and so on and so forth. Uh, there is a hot corner here. If, now if you don't know what that is, I'm, I'm, I'm showing it to you now I guess. You just point your mouse cursor away to the, to the left and it brings up another screen here. You can also click activities. The GNOME shell is, I guess you can say, it's keyboard-centric, meaning you can type a search in the search bar here to go to the specific um, application. Uh, desktop, workspaces-centric, as in you can have multiple workspaces here. For example, I can do uh, click contacts. It'll bring up that. Go back to the hot corner, pick another workspace, and uh, let's see, how about photo manager? This will bring up the default shot well for Photo Manager. And as you can see, it'll give me two different workspace environments here, here and I can choose back and forth. Anyway, you can uh, click that there, click X to escape out of that, go back to shot well, and you can click that. You can go to the uh, activities or applications menu here. And this will give you a list, a menu, submenu, I guess you can call that, of the default installed pieces of software here in alphabetical order. Of course, you can still continue to search. And you can go by category here to the right. And let me get out of that. Okay, let's quickly take a look here. Uh, Internet a, a browser would be Opera, that is installed by default, and that is a terrific uh, browser. I use that somewhat uh, uh, infrequently, along with um, Chrome, Chromium, and um, uh, Firefox, of course. Well, it says here, this is Luninix OS 12.10. Uh, only the strong will survive. Hence, inspiration is once unwillingness to stop, surrender, submit, submerge, or quit quietly. Wow. Um, Hail Caesar. Uh, you can get more information here. Looks like there are links to Ubuntu. This is based um, on Ubuntu featuring, of course, the GNOME interface. You can get more information at gnome.org. And the various downloads here. Form, help, so on and so forth. Photos, video, systems. Let me get out of this here. Is this type of desktop environment newbie friendly for Windows users. That depends if you're on your uh, point of view. Let me quickly show you here at the top. Now one thing I do like about this, the original GNOME shell environment, there was no power off shortcut here. I believe it had suspend at the bottom and you had to hold the Alt key on your keyboard to change that to power off. I never really understood that one. Uh, internet here, volume, sound settings, Again, this is something that a newbie can figure out. Output, input, sound effects, applications. That's all well and good. I, d I don't have a problem with that there. 
the uh, the time and the calendar if you go to uh time the uh, date and time settings let's just click this amp and format you don't have to type in a a string of codes uh again you can just click e either 24 hour am pm very user friendly there i don't have an issue with that as far as the wallpaper you can right click as you would in windows 7 and give you some options here the one that sticks out that i've never seen before is wipe available disk space but for this I'll go and change this rather bland looking uh, change desktop background and this will give me an option of one no I'm just kidding <laughs> I think you have to click that and it'll bring up I guess I clicked it twice but if you click that there and it'll bring up a uh, different wallpaper here and actually the one that I accidentally double click is quite lovely so I will just keep that there and get out of that. As far as Lunanix goes, uh, I think it looks terrific. It seems stable. Haven't uh, seen any uh, glitches or hiccups. I love the dock here at the bottom. This is very smart to put something like this. Shortcuts. But that's it. That is my take on Lunanix OS. For newbies, eh, maybe. It looks fine. It's stable. And on that, por and on that part, the developers of Lunanix should be giving should be given some credit. That's it. That's my take on Lunanix OS. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.